No matter what model or size of bilge pump you plan to install, always connect a switch and test to verify the pump and switch work properly before installing it on your boat. Bilge pumps are usually installed in hard to reach places, tight quarters, and sometimes can be difficult to work on or remove. Just because the bilge pump and switch are new doesn't mean they're going to work. They could be defective. It is very disappointing after spending time and effort installing a bilge pump and switch only to find out later when you turn it on it doesn't work. The following problems can occur with new bilge pumps. Corrosion inside the housing. Depending on how long the pump has been packaged and how it was stored, this can affect the switch assembly. Float stuck. Sometimes the float is wedged or stuck to the riser tube. Float arm broken. Rough handling or dropped on a hard surface during shipment can break the float. The impeller is broken, cracked, or deformed. You will need the following, bilge pump, three-way bilge pump switch, 12-volt battery, positive and negative wires. We are installing a C-Flow three-way bilge pump switch. Important, do not bend or discard the cardboard front. This will be used as a template to cut the exact size hole in the switch panel. When a bilge pump switch has a built-in circuit breaker, you will use a jumper wire to make the connection. Connect one end to the top terminal on the circuit breaker. Connect the other end to the center terminal on the switch. Connect the brown wire from the pump to the top terminal on the switch. Connect the red positive wire from the pump to the lower terminal on the switch. Connect the black negative wire from the battery to the top left terminal on the switch. Connect the red positive wire from the battery to the lower terminal on the circuit breaker. Connect the black negative wire from the pump to the negative post on the battery. Make sure you activate the pump and allow it to discharge water. Don't just flip the switch on and off to test. Just because you hear the electric motor running doesn't mean it will pump water. Place the bilge pump into a container. Place an empty container under the discharge pipe. Pour some water into the container.
Press and hold the manual switch. The pump should discharge water. Set the switch to the automatic position. Pour water into the container. The pump should activate and discharge water. If the pump discharged water on both switch settings, the switch and the bilge pump are ready to be installed on your boat. Thanks for watching.